It's uh, time to watch some baseball. Okay. And a runner on second. Hernandez is on the mound, and here comes the 3 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. 98 mile per hour fastball. <laughs> It 
enable the Rambo feature. But that's not all. The Wii U controller also includes a touch screen, a microphone, speakers, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and an inward facing camera. Just as with Nintendo 3DS, Wii U was created so that the widest variety of games can be supported. That means those aimed at experienced players who can handle a number of volumes and circle paths using both their hands, and those games which can be played really intuitively without the need for any bottom or stylus. However, please understand that it was not designed to be a portable video game machine, even though it shared some characteristics. The images displayed on the new controller are generated only by Wii U. There is wirelessly transmitted without latency issues. You can play in a number of ways. Connect with an HD TV in the traditional way, and you can enjoy the most up-to-date high-quality HD images even without using the screen in your hand. Or you can place the new controller by itself on the table and play it without the need for a TV at all. Or games can be structured to use two screens at the same time. The example you saw on the video earlier, such as playing baseball, golf, using the new Zappa, are only a few of the possibilities. We decided on this new structure for Wii U because we want to create a strong bond between games, your TV, and internet. And also similar one between you, your friends, and your family, all interacting in the same way. This can include web browsing, using the big screen for sharing the photos or videos you found online, or enjoying video chat on the Wii U controller, even while watching a TV program. It's a new structure for home entertainment. But to be sure, the most important factor for gamers is how this new structure can be incorporated into gameplay. <coughs> so, let's hear first from the developer who has given, who has given the most thought so far to new possibilities. Mr. Neo. Video games that you play only in the palm of your hands, even when something else is on TV. And we can also make entertainment that uses both the TV and the smaller screen. It's up to the designers to decide how to use this based on what is best for the games they're making. The hardware itself has the capability, so the games can be designed both ways. More than anything, I'm really looking forward to new styles of play in ways we haven't thought of yet. I think this has a lot of possibilities. And there are so many, we're just trying to decide where to begin. I think there won't be a shortage of ideas. I think as the third party developers are also thinking of all of their own new ideas, then our vision for the future of the Wii U console will include numerous, numerous ways to play. For more, please look for the full Ibata Arts interview in text format at e3.nintendo.com. As Mr. Miyamoto indicated, we are facing an unusual situation. And as a developer myself, I also feel this. New ideas are popping up one after another. And we are not alone. A few months ago, I explained the concept of Wii U to Mr. Sakurai, who was developing Kitpika. We were discussing which platform his next game should be 
developed for Nintendo 3DS or Wii U. What Mr. Sakurai suggested then was a specific idea to make Smash Brothers for both Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Final work in the to, for the King Icarus. Maybe I shouldn't go into any detail today. But I think I have just promised you that Smash Brothers will be developed for Nintendo 3DS and for Wii U, and that the software will work together in some fashion. Of course, this is a product for the future. But here in LA, there is. We use software to play this game. Let me call Reggie back on to the stage and ask him to explain. Thank you, Mr. Wada. Stating that we you will change the way you play games is a pretty bold assertion. So this week, we're providing tangible proof in the convention center, you're going to find eight different interactive experiences. Now, please note, those from Nintendo are not prototypes of actual games. They're just interactive demonstrations. Let me show you just an early example of what the system can do. 